everybody, it's Chris again. Um, sorry for the time between the first video and the second part. I've actually done this video three times now. Uh, I've tried to get the views done all in one video, but it's always taking too long, and every time I've tried to upload to YouTube, it's failed. So I'm going to keep the video shorter, and there's going to be more videos. Instead of three videos, there's probably going to be, I don't know, maybe ten, depending on how long it's going to take. But other than that, when I left you last time with part one, we had just finished doing the master page. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to create a index page and a route to that index page. So inside, I have a user folder here that I created. Inside here, we're going to create. I'm going to create a new file. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use the home folder. So in the home folder, I'm going to create a new file and go ahead and save it. I'm just going to call it index. This should be already in here for you. If not, go ahead and create it. I deleted it. So I'm in the index.blade.php now. Now in order to use the master page, we're going to call at layout master. That defines what layout we're going to use. And then we're going to yield that content, which is at section content. Okay, we'll go ahead and end the section so we don't have to worry about it later. And since this is just the index page and it's really not doing anything, uh, I'm just going to throw an h2 tag in here and just this is the index page close it and control s to save now if we go to view this we should get an error I'm going to tell you why because my, <laughs> my server is not up and running so let me go ahead and get that server running that is not the reason we used to get it though Take your sweet time, wimp. Okay, it's on. So, one thing, we need a map, so we need a route. I don't have a route set up. So, we can do routes one of two ways. We can route get, and then we'll just pass in the default uh, route and with that we can either return a function and then define a route within this function or we can use the MVC method and just use go ahead and use the controller which is what I like to do this first one will but with this first view, I'll go ahead and do it this way since it's a static page and some people prefer to do static pages with a route. So since some people like to do that, I'll go ahead and do it. So I'm going to return the title that we set in the master page. It's going to be home page. Okay, then I'm going to return view make home dot index and then um, to pass in the, the variable with the view we're just going to say with title title okay now before we run this we're going to have to go in there and master into the master blade and get rid of this master that blade and get rid of this because we haven't if we include that it's going to look for it and it's going to throw an error so I'm just going to get rid of that and we'll do that later so say the master page go back in refresh and I bet you I forgot the closing tag on here yes I did
and there we go. I spelled is wrong. <laughs> I just can't win for losing today. Uh, don't matter. So, if you go back out, refresh it. Uh, this is the index page. You see in here the login link that we have since we're not we're not authenticated yet. And next, we're going to go ahead and do that plugin. We're going to create the plugin, which is going to show us errors, any errors when we do validation. So we'll go ahead and get that done. I'll go ahead and open a new file, I'll create a new folder actually. I'll create a new folder inside my views. And I'll call this plugins. Inside that folder, create a new file. I'm going to just go ahead and save that as status. Dot blade dot PHP. Now, we're in here, we're going to go ahead and say if is set errors. and count uh, errors all is greater than zero. <coughs> so if errors is set and the, count, and the count of all errors is greater than zero, we're going to, as soon as I change this back over to PHP so I can use init, we're going to create a div with a class of alert and alert error. So dot alert dot alert dot alert error. And this is where we're having a link that does nothing whatsoever. And in, and we're going in Bootstrap. There's a data toggle, and we're just going to dismiss the alert. So dismiss data dismiss equals alert. Then we're just going to give it next. So that's what's show up on it. Next we'll give it H4 the class of alert heading. I'm just going to say you can do whatever you want but I'm just going to say uh oh. <clears throat> create an one over list throw it back in the Laravel here since we're going to be using Laravel we're going to use that Laravel for each statement so at for each it's going to be for each errors Did I do that right? yes. all Return a list item, and the value of the list items could be the the actual message itself. And this is dynamically created by the validator. So when we pass in, we'll pass in the errors with the view, and you'll see how we do that in a second. And then return errors list item of message as message. that's done and we'll yield the message here and we'll end our for each and we can also can't forget to end our if so end if here so here you've created your status your error message your plugin for your error messages. So whenever you get an error message, this will pop up on the screen and it'll give you the errors. And this will come straight from the validator. So in this video we've created the initial index view and the error view. In the next video we'll go on and we'll do we'll do the code for the login page that we'll do the markup for the login page and the markup for the registration page. So stay tuned. Oh, and remember to like this video, share this video, click the ad, subscribe.
and I'll be back with part three.